Hey, what's going on everybody? Steve here, coming back to you with another video. And in this video, I'm gonna share with you seven items that you probably didn't realize you can buy for less than seven bucks that sell for more than a hundred dollars on eBay. So if you're going out to thrift stores, garage sales, flea markets, auctions, wherever you're going, maybe you're sourcing on Facebook Marketplace, keep an eye out for these seven items I'm gonna share with you in seven of these categories because you can take advantage of the market because people just don't realize that these things are worth really good money. So if you guys are ready to rock and roll, let's dive into this video and this video is gonna help make you some money. So if you're ready for this, do me a big favor, smash the like button, leave a comment down below, let me know I'm ready to make some money, Steve, and let's dive right into it. So the first item, that you might not have expected to sell for more than a hundred bucks on eBay are vintage Vitamixers. Now, the Vitamix is an amazing brand. I love it. I've used Vitamix for years. Um, the more current ones, which can typically resell for two, three hundred dollars plus, but these old stainless steel vintage commercial Vitamixers, they actually go for really good money. Now, if you have an incomplete Vitamixer, you can still make money selling only the base or only maybe like the top accessory to the actual blender or the blender item or different parts of it. These vintage items are obviously out of stock. You can't get them anymore. So the only way if someone wants to like relive their childhood and have a smoothie out of their vintage 1960s or 70s Vitamix is to go on eBay. So if you could find these things at garage sales or auctions or flea markets, which you will, because I found multiple ones and flipped them, you want to pick them up. Now, the issues I've had with some of these are the, the motor kind of burns out. Well, pretty much burns out. So that's an issue right there. You can sell it as parts, but you're not going to get nearly as much money. But again, the money's in the parts, like outside of the the motor, um, because people like they they use, they lose the top, or they lose the container, or like a handle breaks off, so on and so forth. Really good money with Vitamix items. The new ones are the best, uh, but also the Vitam the Vitamix vintage ones, which people don't expect to sell for much money, sell for great money. Look on Craigslist. Look on. Uh, Facebook Marketplace as well. Awesome item to flip. Next item that you might not have expected to sell for really good money on eBay, and this is one of the seven items that are gonna sell on eBay for more than $100, are Hermes Ties. It's spelled H-E-R-M-E-S. And excuse me, I meant to say, well, the ties will go for more than 100 bucks as well, but these are the, this is a scarf that I'm sharing with you right now. And the reason why it's unexpected is because it's a small little tiny item. It's a little scarf that might only weigh three ounces. The same applies with ties in this brand. I've flipped so many scarves and ties in the Hermes brand. Now you want to focus on the ones that have a really cool, unique theme or pattern. So this one right here has feathers on it. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Um, oh gosh, I can't say it enough. I've When I'm at a thrift store and I come across one of these items, all I think is cha-ching because they sell quick, they sell fast, they rarely ever get returned. Awesome money in Hermes items, especially scarves and ties. Next up, stuffed animals, vintage plush stuffed animals. I cannot tell you how much money I've made over the years selling stuffed animals. Now, the vintage, harder to come across ones like from the 50s and 60s you're not going to you're not going to find them every single day but keep an eye out at garage sales people just don't realize that these old stuffed animals can be worth really good money and i mean take a look right here we have a a rare vintage uh, russian rubber face white gorilla i don't even know what this guy is 259 dollars imagine going to a garage sale or a thrift store on a saturday morning you spend 10 minutes you pick up this little gorilla guy you put him on ebay boom 260 bucks that's what i'm talking about i told you this month this video is going to make you some money here we got a 1986 henson dakin plush stuffed animal the labyrinth 200 dollars right here 200 dollars here here's a vintage sting wrestling buddy a hundred dollars Go through the eBay sold listings and study up on these items. Go to sold listings on the left-hand side, type in $100 or more, and you'll see that these are the items that are selling on eBay. Now again, you're not gonna find these all the time. You're not gonna walk into every thrift store, every garage sale, every auction, every flea market, 
and find these items. But if you are equipped with the knowledge and you watch these videos and you study and you spend time in the soul listings, your brain's going to recognize it when you come across it and boom, you're going to make some really nice profits. Keep an eye out for stuffed animals. I also, I also have a guide um, that's all about the best stuffed animals. I believe it's rakingprofit.com slash plush. I'll put a link down below in the description, but be on the lookout for these items. Really good money. The next item you want to be on the lookout for is um, our vintage trucker hats, vintage snapback hats. There's so much money to be made in these items. Now, again, they're going to be hard to come across like the Hermes ties and scarves. You're not going to find them every day. The vintage 50s, 60s, 70s plush stuffed animals. You're not going to come across them every day. So I don't want you to think like, oh, I'm going to go out and find this today or tomorrow. You probably won't, but you could. I've watched videos like this before from other content creators and then boom, I find it. And it's like, what? That's crazy. But take a look at this Kodiak racing hat right here that sold for a best offer un under $199. Absolutely just unexpected. I mean, who would think, unless you know what you're looking at, like who would think this would sell for $200? So freaking cool. It blows my mind, some of the items that sell on eBay. Uh, let's find another, look at this, vintage John Deere. I mean, it says it sold for a best offer under $1,400. It was $2,000. I don't know what it ended up selling for, but the vintage John Deere hat sold for good money. Look at these two right here. 51 bids, $405 on these two items right here. If you're passing up a vintage John Deere hat, you're throwing away half a mortgage payment or half an apartment payment, depending on where you live in the country. Unbelievable. Be on the lookout for hats. Do your research. Next up are Red Wing shoes, Red Wing boots. Now, the vintage, one, the vintage ones tend to sell for the most money. And uh, these actually kind of look like Doc Martens from a distance. Size eight and a half. These are, I believe, men's, but they have a women's size on it as well. So maybe it's it goes either way. $180. Keep your eye out for Red Wing items. Red Wing items sell really well. I've probably sold 50 of them over the last five or six years. Anytime I come across a Red Wing boot or shoe, um, typically the boots in a thrift store for less than, you know, you can find them for four, five, six dollars. All these items you could find for less than seven dollars. Now, typically the Red Wings are going to be priced at 15 to 20 or 30, but I found them for $3.99, $4.99, $2 at a garage sale. Again, it's not going to be every single day and the average thrift store in America is going to be more than $7, but most of these items you can buy for less than seven and flip them for over, you know, $100 or more, which is really cool. Next up is the Office Monopoly game. Now, you're not going to come across Monopolies all the time, but in particular, I wanted to share this with you because a lot of people don't realize that the Office board games sell for as much money as they do. Now, there are a couple current versions that might only sell for 20 or 30, but a lot of the older Office, especially anytime you find a branded TV show, like themed Monopoly, boom, big, big money. But The Office is one of those TV shows the, uh, the board games tend to sell really well. Now, I usually like to put board games on Amazon, but a lot of people are gonna be restricted or gated, which means you're not gonna be able to sell Monopoly on Amazon. If you are, that's great. I'm allowed to sell some of them, it's kind of weird. But the Office sells extremely well, especially within board games, so just keep an eye out for that. I just wanna share that quick tip. And last but not least, if you're not aware of Starbucks mugs, I know a lot of you folks probably already are and you're on the lookout for them, but if you don't, I'm hoping there's a couple people out here who are like, wait, what? You can sell mugs on eBay? Yes, you can. Most mugs aren't gonna be worth your time, but I've found Starbucks mugs for less than $7, typically 99 cents upwards to $3.99 at my local Savers thrift store, which is my favorite place to find items like this. Um, Goodwill as well. Starbucks mugs, they sell really well. You get them for a couple bucks and you wanna find the ones that are uh, discontinued. You wanna find the ones that are themed a uh, specific location. So here we have a discontinued Sacramento mug, $179.99. Look at this one, Los, Los Cabos, uh, Mexico, 2010, $310, Lisbon, $910. I mean, take a look at some of these. All you have to do is spend a little bit of time in the sold listings and you'll get a feel for uh, which ones are selling for a lot. Utah, best offer under 175. Here's California State Capitol, $100. I mean, 
Again, one of the themes I want to get across in this video is you're not going to find these items all the time, but they're out there. And that's why you need to spend 30 minutes a day when you're brand new selling on eBay, studying the soul listings, go into the different categories, go into the mugs, the shoes, the plush, the stuffed animals, the vintage electronics, the blenders, start diving into the scarves and the ties and the jeans and the t-shirts and all the different areas and different types of items. Go into a thrift store with a notepad and write down all the different types of items. Maybe you see a microphone or an easel or a light or a blender or a coffee machine or a printer, right? Or some type of specific quilt and you start writing them all down and then you put together a 30 to 60 day plan for 30 minutes a day and you study these items in the sold listings. And I'm telling you, you will find these items and hopefully this video motivated, inspired, educated you to go out and find these items one day. So with that being said, if you enjoyed this video, do me a big favor and smash that like button down below. Leave a comment, subscribe for more content like this if you enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next video. Much love.